In this video, I want to show you how you can enable a hit XDI inside your Unreal Engine. So it's a little bit more trickier uh, because it's not a plugin that you can just plug inside your engine, but you have to actually uh, download an entire range of Unreal Engine and set up, make a few, a few things to make it work. So I'm going to be showing that in this video. So as you can see, this is direct illumination. It's, uh, it's made to bring more quality for illumination in your game and performance. As you can see right now, the frames per second is really slow because it's off. If I turn this on, as you can see, not only the quality increases, but the frames per second as well. So we're increasing performance together with quality. And of course, there are other systems like the Noiser that's really good to bring, bring more qu uh, light quality for your game. In order to get ray tracing direct illumination inside your engine, there are a few things that you need to do. So it's not a plugin. There are a few, it's a little bit more complicated than it usually is with Unreal Engine, but it's not uh, really a very complex process. It's actually very easy, it just takes a bit of time. So actually we need to get a new branch that is for this, for a version of Unreal Engine with, with this technology enabled. For that, you should go ahead, first thing, is to go to Unreal Engine and actually first thing, first of all, you need to create a GitHub account. So get the, uh, go ahead and create your own GitHub account if you don't have one yet. And you need to be associated with Epic Games organization. For that, you should go ahead into Epic Games. There is a guide about how we can connect your own GitHub to Epic Games. I'm not going through this part because it's something really easy. So you should just create your GitHub. Uh, head into the sites and link both accounts that's going to be both your app games account and your GitHub account. You're going to be authorizing any everything and accept the email invitation and should be good. It's a pretty easy process. Once you have done that, you should be seeing this organization inside your GitHub. Then let's head into this website over here. That's going to be developer dot nvidia dot com slash game engine slash unreal engine slash rtx branch over here uh, once you have done that process you can skip ahead most of the process over here and you can just go ahead and assess the main branch so there are multiple versions of the engine right now it is available till version uh, unreal engine is available till version 5.3 First thing that we're going to notice is that there is no version 5.3 here yet at the current date. But that's mainly because it takes a little bit of time for them to make the modifications and make sure there is no problem when Unreal Engine releases a new version. So every time Unreal Engine releases a new version, it's going to take a, a few weeks. I think uh, they said it was something like two to three weeks uh, to come a new version of this branch. So right now I have available two version 5.2, so it's the one I'm going to be using. Just open this up and should be at this branch over here. Uh, you can go ahead and just download, so just click and code and download zip. Uh, once you have done that, you're going to be placing this in anywhere you want in your, in your computer. In my case, I have placed it here in disk, I have placed this folder for dev and placed it over here. So this is what I have downloaded from there. Uh, there are a few steps that you still need to do once we have come to this part. First thing is that you need to run this setup.bat file. I'm not going to be running these files mainly because it takes a bit of time and I want this tutorial to be really quick. So just go ahead and run this setup.bat file. Once I've done that, it should take just a few minutes then you should uh, generate projects file, should be this one. So just open this file then, that's going to be generate projects file dot bat. And once you have done that as well, you're going to be seeing this file over here. So this last file, you should be opening this with Visual Studio. Uh, so right here, I know you are not, if you're not used, it should be dealing with code. I know that this can be a little bit more complicated at start, but you don't, you don't need to make any code. I'll, I'll, everything that we need to do is to just right click over here into inside the engine folder, select this file over here, right click and then select compile. Everything that we need to do, just select compile. I need to warn you that this process is going to take quite a lot of time. 
uh, it exactly depends on your specs your, of your computer. So it could take something like 15 minutes to let's say two hours or even more. In my case, it took a little bit less than one hour. So yeah, it's going to take quite a while. Uh, you need to be keep that in mind, but it's only for the first time. Once that's done, then you are ready uh, to use this version of Unreal Engine with these modifications. So once you have done everything that I said here in this video, you could just go ahead into Engine and should be, I think it was Binaries and Win64. And then over here, we are going to be selecting this Unreal Editor.ez. Uh, if you're not seeing this, if, let's say if it's something like that, just go up here, go up here and select type till you're able to see this application. Then just open it up. Should be the same thing as it was with other versions of our engine, but this one has the modifications to use uh, direction illumination from NVIDIA. Take a bit of time, but just to show you that's going to be the same thing. And of course, if you want, you can just create a shortcut, send this to your uh, uh, workstation, and that should be good. Let's just wait a bit more. It's going to be opening this up. Yeah, so as you can see over here, I have the other project that I was working with, and I'm able to create a new project just as it was before. And of course, I would be needing to be selecting Ray Trace over here as well. And that should be it. Uh, I'm going to be showing you there is a few template projects that uh, you, you can see how this system works. So I'm going to be opening one of them. So for that, let's just go to the main folder. Here I have this folder for samples and add the XDI test. And I'm going to be opening this project over here. Now we are inside the engine and this is just a test so that you can see what direction simulation from NVIDIA can do. So I'm going to be running this simulation and right now you can see the frames per second over here. I have it, it the eye enable, I'm going to be disable it. And as you can see, you can see the frame drop. So the first thing that you're going to notice is that not only lost quality of light of direction illumination, but it lost quite a lot of performance as well. I'm going to be enabled again. Uh, of course, there are a few more things. Uh, one very useful tool that is the denoiser. So as you can see, I have disabled the denoiser. Uh, if you're not used, it should be dealing with illumination in Unreal Engine or in creating games. That can be a little bit more trickier to see, but you can see there is some artifacts uh, around. And if I activate that again, it is much more clean. So that's basically what this is made for. Uh, there are a few commands that you need to be using to activate these functions. The first thing is actually that you need to activate the pl plugins. So for that, let's go to, to edit plugins. Over here, you can search for NVIDIA. And then you're going to be seeing the plugins that is uh, for, for this. First thing is going to be, of course, this is not the main uh, reason of the video, but there is no reason to not activate this. Uh, that is going to be the LS from NVIDIA and then you should go ahead and enable the denoiser as well. This is by default in this project. And yeah, of course, if you want to use other technologies, it's up to you which one you want to be using, but that's pretty much it. Uh, there are a few commands that you might be wanting to use in your console command. So it's not something that you can enable to brew plants. Uh, there are this uh, widget in this simple project where you can see a few of those commands. So let's say here where I am enabled this denoiser. As you can see, there are two commands. So if I'm, I am disabled the denoiser and if I am enabling it. So let's say if I just copy this command, I could just paste it over here. Would be the same thing. Uh, of course, there are a lot more commands that you can see in their branch on GitHub and in their documentation. Uh, again, this is a little bit more complicated if you're not used to be dealing with code, but it's not a lot. It's actually very simple once you start to understand these the systems and you start to explore. And again, this is something very useful if you want to go really deep in ray tracing. We have common games like Cyberpunk that are using this type of technology now. And yeah, it's really good. So that's basically what I want to demonstrate.
And of course, there are a lot more comments for this. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show how you can uh, create this project. But of course, if you are a standard user of, of ray tracing, is it's not a lot. You don't need to be there if there's a lot. Um, but yeah, so that is what I want to be showing you in this video. Thanks a lot for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Visit train.memetinteract.com and enroll in this course to get all source files. Use coupon code MEMETY to enroll for free.